Hey guys, here is Sensei from 25 Games with our first 125 seconds video tutorial. Today I want to show you Unity's property draws and if you want to download the project files just click the link in the description below. Yeah, and before we start the timer, here's a little introduction into the topic. Okay, let's say we have this awesome class which uses this class, then in Unity it would look like this. But we want it to look like that. Or we have a progress bar, that's not pretty cool, right? We want it to be more like a hand pressing a button or a car driving into the tunnel. That all can be done with property drawers. Property drawers are editor scripts which have no effect to your game. They are used to extend the functionality of the Unity editor and are stored in so-called editor directories. To create such a directory in your project view, just right click on an empty space and create a new folder. Call it editor. Then to create your property drawer, right click on that folder and create a new script. Call it my property drawer. Since property drawers are editor scripts, you have to include the Unity editor namespace. Then you can inherit from the property drawer class. Also you have to add the custom property drawer attribute and pass the type of the class you want to give a different appearance. Then you can overwrite two methods. In onGUI you can draw the GUI elements for your property and in get property height you have to return the height of your property in pixels. Start the drawing process in onGUI with editorGUI.begin property. Then draw the label with editorGUI.prefix label and calculate the new position. After that, store the old indent level into a variable and set the new one to zero. Then define the positions of your GUI elements. Your property often consists of other simple properties like floats or strings. Those can be accessed with the find property relative method and later they are used to draw your GUI. Then you can implement the logic for your property like adding some values or doing simple math. To actually draw your GUI elements, use the editorGUI.propertyField method. If you're done with your drawings, then set back the indent level and finish the process with end property. Often your property only needs a single line at a unit inspector, so in get property height, just return the base property height. Otherwise, multiply the base height with the amount of lines your property needs. Thanks for watching our first really quick video tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel. For more videos, click the buttons on this side and soon we will start our Patreon page and the link will be added on the top. Now have a nice day, it's your sensei.